Hi students. So in our previous module, we studied how to find oxidation number, identify oxidizing agents and reducing agent. So now since we are very much clear with our basic terms, let's start with the balancing of redox reaction. So when we say balancing of redox reaction, what does we mean? It's not just the balancing of atoms, but it includes balancing of charges, balancing of electron lost and electron gained by the species and finally the balancing of atoms. So here this redox reaction can be balanced by two methods. The first method is oxidation number method and the second method is ion electron or half reaction method. This two method can be carried out in two different media. Either the reaction can be carried out in acidic medium or the reaction can be in basic medium. So there are certain rules through which the reactions can be balanced. So let's see the rules to balance the redox reaction. So the very first steps of balancing the redox reaction is balance all the atoms involved in the reaction except for oxygen and hydrogen. Yes, student, oxygen and hydrogen initially should not be balanced. Only the atoms, the remaining atoms which are present should be balanced on both the side of the reaction. Our next step is identifying oxidizing and reducing agent. And to identify that, first we'll see the oxidation number of all the species. If the number is increasing, then we say it is an oxidation reaction. If the number is re reducing, then we say it is a reduction reaction. And accordingly, we assign them as an oxidizing reaction and reducing reaction. Our third step will be students to determine the net increase or decrease in oxidation number. That is, here we mean to say if an atom A have lost two electrons, and the atom B have gained 5 electrons, we need to understand by just using the oxidation number. Students, we have already seen the net loss of electrons should be equal to net gain of electrons. So now when we see the net increase and decrease in oxidation number, we need to balance these factors. That is, we need a common factor where the number of electrons lost will be equal to the number of electrons gained by the species. The next step will be to balance the remaining oxygen and hydrogen atoms present. The oxygen and hydrogen are balanced by adding water for oxygen and hydrogen ions that is H plus ions in the opposite side of the reaction. And the last step is specifically for basic medium reaction. If the reaction is carried out in basic medium, we need to add equal number of OH minus as that of H plus which we have got in our previous step. So this is all the steps from which the redox reaction can be balanced. Now let's start with one of the example which will help us determine better how to balance the reaction. So my very first question to you is balance the reaction by oxidation number in the acidic medium and here you have the reaction in front of you. Students, what is our first step? Our very first step is to balance the atoms. Now, if you see here, balancing of atoms required here is iron manganese. If you see on both the sides, the number of iron atom and number of manganese atom are same. I remind you, balancing of oxygen and hydrogen is not required currently in this step. So, first step can be ruled out at, as there are no atoms which needs to be balanced. A second step is to assign oxidation number to identify oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. So here if we give the oxidation number, iron is a divalent here. So it have an oxidation number of plus 2. Mn by calculating the oxidation number is plus 7. Fe again on the product side is plus 3. And Mn is directly given as divalent that is plus 2. Now students since we have the oxidation number with us, it becomes very much easier to identify oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. So here Fe is going the number from 2 to 3 that is the number is increasing and we know the method that if the number increases in the scale then we say it is an oxidation reaction. For Mn the number is decreasing from 7 to 2 and hence we can say it is a reduction reaction. 
A third step student is to calculate the net increase and decrease. That is for oxidation reaction if we see the net loss of electron. How to calculate that net loss of electron? The number for oxidation is from Fe plus 2 to plus 3. So if I directly subtract 2 minus 3 from left hand side to right hand side, I get the number as minus 1. Now student don't get confused with the negative sign or the positive sign. It's just the subtraction method will help us to understand how much electrons Fe have lost. So the number of electrons Fe have lost is 1. If we talk about Mn, Mn number decreases from 7 to 2 that is 7 minus 2. So here the number of electrons gained by Mn is nothing but 5. Now students, how do I balance this? The loss of electron is just 1, whereas gain of electron is 5. We need to have a common factor which will make us get the answer net loss of electron which should be equal to net gain of electrons. So we multiply I n with 5 to get a common factor of 5. So here in the reaction, we multiply I n that is on both reactant side and product side the factor of 5. So here we have balanced all the atoms, we have balanced all the charges. The last step is nothing but balancing of oxygen and hydrogen atoms. So students, if you see here on the reactant side, we have four oxygen atoms and on product side, we don't have any. So oxygen is balanced by addition of water molecule. Since there is four oxygen atom, and each water molecule contains one oxygen atom. We need to add how many water molecules? Exactly. We need to add four water molecules in the reaction. Now students, how do I balance hydrogen? Because now in my product side, I have eight hydrogen atoms. Whereas on the reactant side, I don't have any hydrogen. So hydrogen is balanced by adding, adding hydrogen ions. That is H plus ions. So on the reactant side, I will add 8H plus I. So now students, if you see, all the atoms are balanced, all the oxygen atoms are balanced, hydrogen atoms are balanced and all the charges are balanced. That is number of electron lost is equal to number of electron gained. So here we finish the balancing of redox reaction and we can say this reaction given is balanced reaction. So till now, thank you for this module. And in the next module, we'll see a few more examples. Goodbye.